Hello, my wonderful friends. It's me, your friend, Hubert Anayo Anyoke. I thank you all for being with us in this channel, supporting us by subscribing to our channel, sharing our messages, liking our messages, commenting to our messages. I thank you all. God Almighty will reward you abundantly. And for my friends that are newly in this channel, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like our message. Share our message. Comment if it touches your heart. Please. I always use this opportunity to throw light to so many of our friends that are joining to us in this channel. For, for them to know why we are here. To know why we are here. So that they will not feel somehow biased. We are here simply to educate our youth, especially African youth, Nigerian youth, youth all over the world, those that are being wounded. What I mean by wounded, those that are being molested, depressed, denied of their right, those that feel to hang themselves, those that think they cannot make it in life. Though that are in a terrible situation, there are no way out. That those people is people that this message is mostly for, for them to know how they will stand on their feet. But first and foremost, for them to know why they are passing these critical conditions. That is why we are here every time to keep on educating our youth for them to learn how to stand on their feet, to look for, to first search, make inquiry, why are they in their condition? The secondary, for them now to stand and fight for their right. That is why we are here. Thank you. Now, message for today is about unforgiveness and the youth. What does it cause in the life of our youth today? Unforgiveness. That is our topic of today. Before I go further, I would like to pass this important information to my wonderful youth, African youth in general, Nigerian youth. Please, let us learn how to say sorry when we offend someone. And also, let us learn how to forgive one another. That is the first key we have to use to open our door of success. When we work with those two formulas, our society will be good. Our environment will be good. Our family will be good. Our money will be awesome we see a reason to live together as one body. That is the key I want us to take. For instance, if you are with, with us in abroad, in Europe or this, some Western world, that one thing you will learn, especially here where I lived, in Spain, before, a, before your neighbor will hit you, he will tell you sorry in advance. In their language, they say, lo siento. If, even your opponent is not even the one that offends you, you first say, lo siento, pardona, forgive me. And that is the first thing, the first approach we need in life. I am sorry, it doesn't take anything for your body. But many of our youth find it difficult to say, I am sorry. Even in our marriage, you will see husband and wife living together. One offend each other to say simply, I am sorry, you will feel ego. And what will happen? 
it will be escalating to another different dimension. If you do not learn anything, learn these things very, very important. It's very, very, it's very simple something, but it is difficult for us to say, I am sorry. It cannot do you anything. But rather, it made the heart to be sweet. My brother, I am sorry. We move on. Please, those of you that are with us here, look into what I'm saying. Lo siento, in Spanish language, I am sorry. Perdona, forgive me. Ask everybody. You see, every white man here, if you match you now, you say, lo siento. Forgive me, pardon, I'm sorry. But in the, in the heart of our youth, especially we that believe we speak English or whatever, it's hard for us to say sorry. We think that when we tell somebody sorry, we are reduced from what we are. We are no longer chairman. We are no longer head. We are no longer... No. It's a mark of respect. And that's the principal key that hold every peace, hold peace in our society, in our family, in our marriage, in a business circle, in the meeting entirely. Thank you. That is first thing I want us to understand. When you, we start with this thing, we'll have a, peace, a peaceful home. Now... Many of our youth, I don't know what they gain in sowing this seed of hatred, unforgiveness in the heart of our brothers and sisters. By opening a page of hatred, insult upon insult, in order to make money, in order to be firm or create awareness. I have been saying this time with that number, you cannot stop stop insult with insult. It cannot stop quarrel with quarrel. You can only stop it with peace, with humility. I have many of our youth, they're busy causing our elders, causing the leaders of church, causing the, the key in our society in the name of correcting their mistakes. Whereas they are creating their another mistake, by insulting them. Every leader has children. Every leader has wife, has family. When you are insulting any leader, you are insulting entire children and family. And those that believe in him, by that you are creating enmity. Why you think you are stopping their fault or error? Please, my dear youth, if you are a part of these people that always insulting pastors, insulting prophets, insulting leaders, insulting people in high rank of offices. You are not doing us well. Rather, you are causing trouble to we, the wounded ones. Please, if you are holding any organization or charity or you are helping someone, please let it be in a form that you will unite everybody together. Not insulting some because you want to show that you are doing it well. You certain other because you are doing it well. You are not carrying all of us together. You are bringing division between us. If someone don't know how to do it, there is many ways to correct errors. In a humility, can you someone, please, this is not like this, but not by publicly insulting elders in different dimensions. By proving that you are doing it right. It is not, it's not good. That is why in this platform, we don't insult nobody. We don't call somebody's name in the wrong side. Rather, we can call somebody's name in order to promote good. So I urge everyone of us that have opportunity to voice out, to reach out to people in social media, in different platforms. Please, let us mind the way we are bringing issues. Insulting leaders cannot solve a problem. Rather, let's open up our problems so that we see how we we find we solve solve it once and for all. For those that I think that our leaders in the church is our problem, you are making a good, a great mistake. The problem started from your house, your home, your village, your town, and you yourself. 
Because if you that is insulting pastors, insulting prophets, insulting leaders, if you can show us your family, your children, how you are related to them, you can we know that you are doing it well. Many of you, you are not living with your wife. You are not with your children. How are you showing examples? And when you ask out of your family, another person has been educating your, your children in a wrong way. You are busy pushing money. Where another person is busy corrupting your children. Tomorrow, the same thing will still happen. Then why not go back to our village, our family, our state, our town, and have a good relationship and solve our problem once and for all? By leaving your family and you'll be there abroad, you'll be there wherever you are and be shouting, insulting people that have nothing to do with your lives. It is wrong thing. Please, I beg every youth, stop buying everything they said to you. Examine it. When someone is telling you something, please look at that person's life. Especially those that are single, correcting marriages. You can't give what you don't have. A married person cannot control marriage. You cannot treat marriage problem because you are not one of them. That will pass. This topic of today is all about unforgiveness. Many of our youth are now running hater scatter because of anger. They have been wounded in so many areas, which I'm part of them. But I have a good message for us. When you forgive yourself, forgive your brother, forgive your sister, you have a good life. You have a positive thinking. Then you even make money to correct errors in your family. Any man that, that left his family and come back to the family with war, that is need to be need to service his brain. Why we travel is for us to go and learn and bring peace to our family, bring knowledge to our family, correct that old mentality that scatter us all over the world. That is why we are opportune to be out of our country, out of our state, out of our town, not to bring war to our families, to our kindred. It's very, very wrong. If I'm to say, all of us are wounded, but why do we have opportunity to escape is for us to go and acquire knowledge and to learn one how to forgive and how to correct errors then now we have a good family that is why i'm here to let every youth there except those that have opportunity to be out of trouble to teach others from what they learned not to add trouble to what have been there Every government, every every strong started from family. And when you do not build a family, that hatred will be escalating to institutions. Many of us are looking for money because so that we will go and retaliate, fight our uncles, fight our brothers, fight those that have that that treat our parents bad. But I'm here to tell our youth, stop, calm down. Let us bring unity, peace. Let us preach gospel of love, forgiveness, so that our society will move on well. Many of us, because of what we experience in our family, in our village, in our local government, in our town, make us to pursue power with all means, to lead so that we treat our enemy bad, so that we show our enemy that we are on, on top of them. My brothers and sisters, please, let us forgive. Let us forget. Let us have one accord. Start from our marriage. Let husband forgive the wife. Let wife forgive the husband. Let parents forgive their children. Let children forgive their parents. Let us work as a team. And made this world to be a better and a good place for us to live. That is what we are we are talking about. Let every youth stop shouting, stop bragging, stop feeling hot. I know we are all wounded, but if you are alive, thank God for your life. Many have died. 
The same thing you passed through, so, someone has passed it, but it died. And you, are, so you survived. It's not by your power. We are here, it's not because we are stronger than others, or we are more intelligent or more educated. It's because God keep up for a purpose for us to preach this gospel of youth and peace to our family, to bring our family together. That is why this message is all about, that every youth will learn how to be humble, how to be wise. Wisdom means a lot of things. When you know that something will hurt you, you cannot involve yourself in that thing. But because we are wounded, we want to show our uncle, our people that we arrived, make many of you to engage in something that will shorten their lives, that made them cannot, cannot stand any longer. My dear youth, please, let us sit well. Let us stand and know where uh, we have problems. But before I still continue, I would like us to see because I always hold God. That is the key and the key of this life. If you don't know God, if you don't know where, the source of your power, you are making a lot of mistakes. Nobody that survived in this world survived without power. But it depends on the one you belong. But the one we know is about the living one. So I would like to us to see what our Lord teaches us concerning forgiveness. So that we all know that when you forgive one another, God will forgive you. And whatever you are doing will work fine. I would like my friends to help me look at the book of Matthew 6 verse 12. Just to see that what I'm saying is not because I want to say I read it and I've seen it. And when you deceive from this thing, you want you will have peace in you. And when you have peace in you, you can think positive to your brothers and sisters, to your family, to your local, to your town. You will not be ringing bell of war, bell of fight. Though they offend you, but forgive them and forgive yourself, then we'll move on. Okay, let me read from here in my Bible. Because Bible is what we read and it think that give us the power, the light to do more than what we think. I read from Matthew 6 verse 12. It's only two words. Eh? And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Now, what does this talk about? When you forgive those that offend you, God will forgive you. Then your prayer can be answered. You can have a way to solve your problem. Give me one second. Now, I want to, I like to give instance to my people to understand that what I'm preaching is what I'm part of. And it, is not, it does not make me not to move forward. Every, half of people that are after their country left their country because of one thing or the other that are paining them. Some left because they are the, the, those that are bigger than them take what belongs to them. They left for them to go and fight and come back to deal with their friends or whatever. But why some on their way, they learn how to forgive, which I'm part of them. I mentioned something last time concerning when I was involved in some meetings. That was a part of it. I was small about when I was in elementary six. I saw... It's not that I saw my two cousins fighting to kill my father because of what doesn't work life. That their father keep their, their boss in my father's custody for them not to take, take it. That is only two problem. Then I want to kill my father with cutlasses. Even the woodman of one of my sister. Because I was small, I ran out, out of our house. Near our neighbor's house, I was there watching what is happening. Do you believe that those that supposed to join 
and ask what is happening there, the one that rejoicing, kill the man, kill the man, kill the man. I had, I saw. That work made me to be a man today. That made me to struggle that I must help myself. So that any time they kill him, uh, I will I will see what I will do. That work make me too strong and it affected my education. Because I can't sit and, and watch that drama. I have to work hard. I have to fight. I have to do everything for me to be strong. But guess what? As I, I travel outside, for those that are insulting pastors and prophets, I'm one of their sons. They're the one that teach me what I know today, that I cannot fight. Rather, I look for the solution and I know Christ. That's what makes me to flush out all those in my memory and look for my help. What gets now? Look at me. Those people that are doing the, those things now, let's assume that I did not forgive and forget those things. What will happen now? Because I know that they cannot challenge me. But the issue that we learn to show them good, let them know that nobody can stop a moving train. When you have a destiny, please don't let people drive you away from your vision. Go to your vision Claim what belongs to you. So, my dear wounded youth, please let us learn. Forgive, forget, move ahead, hold Christ. You will make it. I will stop here for now. Please, if you have not subscribed, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be updating you with many, many things that will make you to walk in unity, in peace with your brothers and sisters. Thank you.